The following program is brought to you by Element 14, the electronics community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com slash presents. Hello and welcome back to Element 14 Presents. I'm Lorraine Underwood. In this episode, I've got my dancing dress on because we're going to make a dance mat. I love how the Circuit Playground Express has proper touch pins and I've always wanted to make a big project out of them using some sort of kind of a reaction game. So I thought a dance mat was a pretty good idea. Do you remember those dance machines in the arcades that we had as kids? There would be music blaring and the screen would show like a series of arrows and you'd have to jump up and down on the different arrows. I don't know how these machines didn't break. <laughs> So I'm going to try and recreate that kind of dance mat. Compared to my previous projects using the VR headset and the face mask, this should be easy, right? Amazing hacks. Inspired designs. Each week, Element 14 Presents brings you innovative projects using electronics, engineering, and more. Let me sketch out what we're going to do. So the CPX is going to be kind of in the middle of our design with all its circular pins around it. Then from the pins, we're going to have wires coming out into the different arrows. So let's just start with four hours for arrows to keep it simple. And we're going to have kind of like copper tape here soldered, I think, onto the end of each wire. Then on top of that copper tape, so you won't be able to see it, we're going to have the arrows in kind of vinyl. So all you'll see is arrows and the CPX. What I need to test is when I touch the arrow with my foot, will that connection go through to the copper, go through the wire, and will the CPX know which arrow it is that I've just stood on? So let's do a little test first. For this project, we're going to need a Circuit Playground Express, four M3 bolts, four M3 nuts, and some wires. We also need some copper tape and some vinyl. So I've coded the Circuit Playground Express. So when I touch down on pin A2, using this code here, it will play a beep. So I'm not worried about like clicking down then off, because I think as soon as your foot touches an arrow, that should count as a point. Okay, so let's try crock clipping this, just as a temporary solution. Okay, so when I press either end of the crocodile clip, that works. I fold it over, I stuck some tape to the table, but I fold it over this end, because um, the sticky bit isn't conductive. So I'm gonna clock, crip, crip, clip, crip, clip, clip, onto this side, and that doesn't work. Okay, I don't know why the crocodile clip wouldn't work, so I very quickly made up this jig. I'll show you how I make this step by step in a second. So it's basically a wire that's soldered on to the um, copper tape, and it works. So when I press the copper tape, the signal goes through. Okay, so we're going to test that. We're going to chuck some vinyl on top of it and see if it works through the vinyl, which was the test that we wanted to do. This is just a bit of vinyl and I'm going to tape it over the copper tape so it's completely covered. Um, so when we touch, touch the tape underneath the vinyl, it still works. But it doesn't work where we're just touching the vinyl because obviously vinyl is not conductive, I wasn't expecting that to work. So we have to kind of think carefully about where we're placing the copper tape and the vinyl so that we get the full foot. Okay, let's go measure some feet. First up, let's strip the wire. So I'm using single core wire. So we're gonna put the wire into these um, ring terminals. So what I'm gonna do is connect these four wires to four parts of the Circuit Playground Express. So we use um, an M3 bolt so say I put this into A2. Uh, I don't know whether I should put the ring terminal on first, like that, or there. I think maybe on top would be better. 
So the bolt goes through the ring terminal and the ring and then we secure it on the back using the nut. So we're gonna have the four of them around this circuit playground express. Like that. Okay, so I've just found this giant box that I'm going to use. Um, so I realized that you stand in the middle of a dance mat and then you go like that. Yeah, so I need to kind of base everything around the middle size-wise and have my little arrows around the edge. But I still think the Circuit Playground Express can't really sit in the middle with me because I'm just going to stand on it. So we might have to make some of these wires longer to be able to get them to go kind of this kind of width length. Mm, back a bit. Stop. That way. That way. That's it. Here I am putting on the copper tape. So copper tape is really easy to come by. It's commonly kind of known as slug tape in a lot of kind of garden stores or hardware stores. And it's, it's really cheap. I've even found it in like, um, we call them pound shops, maybe we call them dollar stores in the US. Um, you can get like a decent roll for like a dollar. <laughs> So I've just taped all the wires into position and now I'm ready to solder. So it's all soldered up. It's quite tricky soldering copper because you don't want to rip the tape and it's quite um, fragile. So I do put like puddles of solder on it. Um, so let's test this. You see that? It went yellow. <laughs> Green, white, red. So that is working perfectly. So I worked on the bench and I brought it down to the floor and it didn't work. So I thought, oh, you know, I must have knocked the connection. Checked all the connections, thought, mm, that could do a bit more solder. Back on the bench, fix the solder. It works on the bench. On the floor, doesn't work. Back on the bench. Recrimp some connections. Back on the floor, doesn't work. This is getting a bit weird. So I just knelt on the floor and had it on my lap and it worked, but it didn't work on the floor. And I thought, I'm going crazy. What is wrong with my floor? And I realized this beautiful concrete floor has a layer of insulation in it that I saw before it went in. And it was all nice and shiny with foil on it. So my floor is conductive. It interferes with the capacitive touch of the Circuit Playground Express. While I was trying to figure everything out, I kind of went a bit crazy and I soldered the wires directly onto the Circuit Playground Express. It works, it works fine, but it just doesn't look pretty anymore. So to fix this problem, I'm going to try and layer up the floor with different bits of cardboard to try and make it less conductive. Or maybe I'll just move location. But right now... But that's a job for tomorrow. Are you an engineer, electronics hobbyist or maker? Join the Element 14 community where you can learn about new products and technologies, see cool projects and connect directly with the people that make the products and engineers that use them. Join now! Okay, so I think we should be good now. So let's try one, two, three, four. It works. So let me just show you the whole grid. So I've covered most of the triangle in copper tape. Um, because my foot is pretty big, I don't think I have to worry about covering the whole triangle. You know, if, when I'm dancing, if I just catch the back of the triangle, I'm going to hit that strip. So I didn't want to waste copper tape covering the whole triangle. So I've got two big strips and a single strip. So let's look at this um, kind of triangle a bit closer. So this is the bit that's soldered. So when I press here, I get purple and that's yellow over there. 
Um, but obviously these strips aren't connected. So I'm just gonna connect them with some copper tape. So I'm gonna take off a strip. Now, remember it's only the shiny side, not the sticky side that's conductive. So what I do is I kind of fold over the edges and join the two pieces together like that. Just gonna reset that. So reset that again. So I press that one, it works. And then I press that one and it works. So I've just joined these strips together. So it's all one connection. I'm gonna do the same for this little bit here and the rest of the mat. What I might be worried of is when I put the vinyl on is whether the vinyl will kind of peel that off. Um, but I could just cover that with that, I suppose. Everything still works really well. Yeah. So I'm going to create four triangles for my arrows. Um, dimensions are about 30 by 15. Hang on, I just have to unlock that. But I don't have the wider cutting mat, so I'm going to have to go for 29, um, which is still pretty close. Uh, I'm just going to colour this in and duplicate it. So there's my four triangles. These are actually the colours they're going to be. These are just to differentiate them on the mats. Um, I'm going to have a look and see what kind of vinyl I have. It might actually not be far off the colours I'm going to choose. So let's get ready to cut. That's fine. So I'm using a Crycut Air Explore 2. Here it is. Let's get cutting. I've decorated the dance mat with the vinyl triangles and I've also coded the Circuit Playground Express. I'll put the code on the Element 14 community so you can download that if you want it. But first, I gotta get changed into my dancing clothes. I forgot which way I was spinning. <laughs> I've got a low note if you run out of time and I've got a high note if you press the right pad at the right time. So I've got up, down, left, right, but I've also got left and right, up and down, and I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. Ah. Come on, Red. Hello. No. Yes. Ah. <laughs> Too many. Mm. That's all we have for today. What did you think of the dance mat? Everything went so wrong in this video. I was hoping for a really easy video, but as you saw, just everything was against me. Do you have projects like that? With more time, what I'd love to do is add some music and, you know, like get the projector displaying the arrows on the screen to somehow like connect to the Circuit Playground Express. I think maybe like get a Raspberry Pi to recognize the arrows on the screen and send it over infrared to the Circuit Playground Express. I don't even know if that's doable, but I think that would be, that would make the experience. Uh, get some disco lights and you've got yourself a party. Have you ever had that problem where something is interfering with your project? Like my floor was interfering with the capacitance of the Circuit Playground Express. Let us know at the Element 14 community at element14.com forward slash presents. We'll see you next time.